I came out to see the trees. I came out to see the summer green take on fire red, orange, yellow, and red. And I want to tell you that I generally open this piece by telling people that I used to be able to lift 260 pounds over my head with one hand without grunting. And I, I really took pride in that. And then one day I found myself lying on the floor dying and I couldn't even lift my own head. And I know I should have been thinking, oh Lord, save me or something in that order, but I've, I've asked forgiveness for it, but that, that wasn't what I was thinking, because what I was thinking was, damn, this sure isn't like the movies. <laughs> yeah, and I, I got to thinking that there was this little flower that grew up between the cracks in the cement right outside my door. And every morning when I go to work, I'd step over it, because I knew it was there and I didn't want to hurt this little flower. Same thing when I came home in the evening. But I didn't notice it. It had these little fine blue lines, these little veins that ran through. I never noticed it, because I was moving too fast to see the road sign. I knew that there was a, a stand of eucalyptus trees right across the street, and I saw them swaying. I saw the leaves falling. But I never equated them with, gee, it was like my friends and my relatives falling, falling. <laughs> so I came to knowing that I, I wanted to pick up those leaves. And I know I know I really shouldn't be there. You know. I really shouldn't be there. Because there's so much work to do, words to write, appointments to keep, people to see. There really isn't time to watch trees. But I ask you to understand though, you see, if I hadn't come today Lord knows I, I wouldn't have come tomorrow. And soon it'll be too late. But you see, when the trees burst into flame, there's, there's a sudden glory that comes in, and it dies quickly. And I've learned now from the past that I must take this moment when and where I can find it. But too soon, these, these same bright leaves, the same fire will fall turn the crackling ashes at my feet. Why, I ask, why, why must these leaves, these bright leaves, fall so soon? Why? Why must these leaves fall in the leaf-littered earth that I live and sleep and work and dream on? And I dream a special dream. You see, I, I dream of of picking falling memories, falling colors, falling leaves. And I say, why? Why must, why must these bright leaves fall so soon? Why? And I dream of, of, of putting these falling leaves back on God's trees, leaf by leaf, ablaze with color. And I... I know deep down inside of me that the same fire, these, these falling leaves, this, this, this falling color, this, this pour down on the leaf littered earth that I live, sleep, work, and dream on, will soon be gone. Hmm. And I take a lesson from them. You see, part of learning life is learning to let go, to accept the verdict of the seasons and to be willing to let the fire die in the leaves of old hopes and worn out wishes and unkept promises cannot be held forever. You see, part of learning life is learning to let go.
But I, I came out to see the trees. I came out to see their summer green take on fire red, yellow, orange, and golden brown. And now I walk among their falling leaves. And I think of springtime. And I think of you as I walk beneath the trees. <laughs> <laughs>